is a man after God's own heart. Don't say that. Today's scripture is taken from Acts 13 and 22. Acts 13, verse 22. And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. My God. Amen? Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Once again, happy Father's Day, first and foremost, to my Abba Father, to the shepherd of the house, Pastor Stubbs, a.k.a. Gunter, <laughs> my earthly father, in this tardiness, all the fathers in the house, and those under the sound of my voice. Stepfathers, I thank you. Amen. Anticipating fathers. Mm -hmm. I pray God's covering over you. Amen. And let the desires of your heart be fulfilled according to God's own will. Amen. 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 So the question is, how do you become a man after God's own heart. There's only one person in the Bible that was labeled as such. And who was that? David. King David. A shepherd boy. A nobody. But a man after God's own heart. Let that minister to you. It does not matter where you come from, you know. It don't matter your social economic status. Come on now. It does not matter your history. Hmm. David coveted another man's wife. He set him up to be killed. But yet, he was a man after God's own heart. Hmm. Now that's not something for you to say, well, I'm going to commit premeditated murder. Oh, mm. no, you're going to hell for that one. Amen. <laughs> but what you have to recognize is when you love the Lord with all your heart, your soul, and your spirit, it moves the heart of God. Amen. And he will take what you have done, the worst of what you've done, and throw it into the sea of forgetfulness. That's the God I serve. I know what you are. Amen? Amen? So no matter your past, number one, you just got to make things right with God. That's right. Forget what man can say. Forget what friends and family can say. What does your Abba Father say? Hmm. You know, it wasn't until I really got, I started outreach ministry that I realized how many people out there have a relationship with God. But for whatever reason, they're out in the world. Hmm. They can be drunk as a skunk, hmm. as high as a kite. But when God speaks, they listen. They listen Amen. and they obey. God ain't concerned about your outward appearance. Like man. It's all about the heart and your obedience to his voice. Amen. Proverbs 24 and 16 says, For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. Mm -hmm. So if the thought of you being unworthy comes to mind, renounce it. Come on. Rebuke it. Come on. Come on. That is Satan speaking. That's right. One thing I learned about the devil, we better shut him down. Quickly. Early and quickly. Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 says, Not a single person on earth is always good mm. and never sins. Come on now. If you fall, get up. back up. That's right. The only person who's stuck on the ground is the devil. Mm. 
Because he's been Christ mm. to slither on his belly mm. for the rest of his life. My and God. for eternity. Yes. That's yes. the rest of his life. Mm. Mm. Hey. Mm. So in these last days, man, I'm appealing to you. Focus on your relationship with God and not religion. That's right. Focus on your relationship with God and not tradition. Come on. Because you could go to a service every week. Mm. Come on. Sing every song. Preach it. Pray every prayer. Come on. Read what the book say. My God. I'm still go to hell. Hey. That's right there. Come on. Mm. Come on now. Come on, deliver My somebody. question is, what is God saying? Mm. To you. Mm -mm -mm. Spend time with God. Yes. That's how you get to know the heart and mind of God. You have to spend time with Him. <laughs> My Lord. When I'm busy, I got. Listen, you got time for everything else. That's right. Netflix teach me. Mm. We have time. <laughs> when we want our time. That's right. Think about it like this. You don't want to listen to God? Let something happen. Hmm. Tell me how much hours you can spend waiting to see a doctor here. My God. When all God wants is some quality time with him. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 30 and 21 says, whether you turn to the right or the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk yeah, in it. That's right. As simple as... <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> what do you think about that girl over there? Mm. She look right. Teacher. She sound right. Teacher. But something ain't right in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My Lord. As long as something's not right, yep. you better go dig deeper. Come on. Because if you make that mistake, nine months later, mm. you're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Spend time in God's Word. Amen. Psalm 119 verse 9 says, How can a young man cleanse his way? That's right. By taking heed according to your word. Mm. With my whole heart, mm -hmm. you know it ain't nothing, right? Yes. I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. My Lord. Be a man to God on her. Fulfill your divine purpose by knowing and doing God's will. Amen. That's the only way you can make it in this life. Amen. 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 When men pray, mm. oh, it has moved the heavens. Mm. Ladies, I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. Tell the truth. Man got God favor. Come on now. You know what God put my spirit last night? The emergency landing on Western Air. Mm. My God. I even look it up and listen to it. Mighty God. If you when you leave church, go yeah. watch it again. My God. All the women. Ah, 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 mm. ah, ah, ah. The man. God got us, you know. Yeah. Mm. God got us, you know. Yes. God got That's us. Right. Mm -mm. Let me tell you what he said. He said, God got us. The mm. one who was recording said, God got us. Yes. He kept saying it over and over. God got us. Yes. 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 Then he said to the Lord in this, listen, mm. you ain't promised me this. Mighty God. <laughs> when you're going through something in Come life, on. Come on. you got to remind God of his promises. Come on. Maybe your word was Come spoken on. over your life. You ain't promised me this. Mm. He said, You ain't tell me this. My God. That means he has a relationship with God. Come on. Yes. 
Jesus, Lord, right there. Part of spending time with God's presence is hearing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God didn't tell him this. Come on. So this wasn't a part of God's plan. My God. I ain't nobody rebuking. My God. Mm. The man was calm. Yes. <sighs> but my faith and my trust is in you. Yes. yes. Simple words. When that plane landed, he shouted, Thank you, Jesus! Oh my God. Mm. And the anointing that flew through my screen Mighty God. was a bolt of light. Mighty God. Ghostbump just flood me. Mm. I see the power. Mm. I said I would love to meet this young man. Because mm -mm. guess what? I can guarantee you. If you saw him in the street, you'd walk right past him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there it is. The Reverend walking, mm -hmm. talking, reservoirs of God's yeah. anointing. Yeah. Yeah. And if you ain't discerning, you will miss it. See, Reverend, we got to tarry. We got to tarry before God for weeks, months, Maybe even yes. Mm. And all the man got to say is God. <laughs> I trust you. Just say what you promised me. That's right. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me this. Mm -hmm. It's something about when men pray. That's right. You move the heavens. You move the heart of God. Come on now. And that's why the devil is after you so hard. That's right. That's why there's so much temptation. Mm -hmm. That's why there's so much addiction. Oh my God. That's why there's so much destruction. That's because right. he will do everything mm -hmm. to stop you from praying. My God. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. You gotta say with a little boo. You say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello. Hallelujah. The divine order of the family. My God. Men understand you are your family's covering. Yes. yes. If you are not in alignment, you're like an umbrella. Mm -hmm. If you are not protecting your family from the attacks of the enemy, they in trouble. That's right. They in trouble. This is why I say again, the devil goes out of his way to distract you. And move you out of alignment. Yes. You're supposed to be here, but that got you over here. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he'll even use the people in your household. Come on. That's the devil. Yes. He knows that a house divided cannot stand. That's right. So what are you gonna do? Hmm. Cause the wife to come home in a bad mood. Jesus. Lord, I pray your strength to the Lord. Mighty God. Someone console him, please. <laughs> but you have to understand the devil is the puppet master. That's right. He and he's very strength. conniving and That's very right. cunning. Yes. He knows how to orchestrate events. That's why I see, listen, ladies, we're emotional. Oh, yes. Tell the truth. We're not rational. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let, let, let Western Air teach you a lesson. Mm. Why are we fighting out? The men are like, Peace be still. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Mm. Tell a man. Mm. Even if they drunk and high. Oh my God. <laughs> they still lie, you know. Come on. God still speaking to them. Come on. Sometimes we just gotta calm down mm -hmm. and listen to and our And listen. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Just listen. Just talk. My God. When someone call and tell you, blase, 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 really? Mm hmm. Let's treat with God. Mm hmm. Let's video God. I get to the truth. Yeah. Yes. Don't allow people to come in your ear. Didn't the serpent come in Eve there? My yeah. Lord. Yeah. My thing is, if you say this what it is, show me the receipts. Mm. Yeah. You know, we're going for dinner. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We're going to meet because I want to make sure these screenshots were not edited. I want to see it in your phone, sweetie. My God. 
See the devil is trap say. He is. He's a troublemaker. Yep. And rather than going, ah, listen. Sometimes you gotta think like a man. Just calm down for a minute and think logically. Come on. A lot of people wanna be where you're sitting. They wanna wear your ring. Hmm. Can't fit them. Sorry. Your crown. <laughs> Hey, someone say God's good. <laughs> so you are your family's covering. <laughs> it's Jesus Christ, my Lord. It is the Father. Yes. Then it is the wife. Mm -hmm. I say girlfriend because y'all is do food. Mm -hmm. I think after right three years, that ring's supposed to be on it. At least three years. <laughs> God, <too long>, eh? <laughs> One year. Fellas, Fellas, you all know what you're looking for. Okay. And you know what? You know what I discovered? Because I always grew up, listen, I always grew up a tomboy. For one. I always grew up with male cousins. I always worked around a majority of men. So I understand men better. Men know what they want. That's right. Sorry, ladies. Most of us don't know what they want because. We don't ask. There you go. We don't pay attention. Ouch. Say it now. We would know when we're dating. Mm -hmm. When we're seeking. Uh huh. But once we get the right, when last you put on lashes? Mm. <laughs> mm. When last you put on high heels? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey! You have to date when you're married. Yum yum. You're at work watching all the flowers come. Mm mm mm. Wonder when mine will come. Ah, Jesus, what you do together? Hey. Why? Why you gotta wait? Hey. For one day a year. My God. Come on now. Ladies, Come on. Have you thought to send him flowers? Hey. hey. Come on. Woo. Get them, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. You preaching right today. Let the Holy Ghost use you. No, no, no. Hey, stop talking it. Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Oh mm. See, I'm a woman. Mm. <laughs> Look at Mark, I get it. Hey! I get it, Lord. Yes, Jesus. I get it. I get it, I get it Lord. Oh my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You mm. got a real monster, Mark. <laughs> Got you, Come on now. And you Come wonder on. why. You, mm. Guess what? Watch this. Let me show you all how he's taking one way. My Lord. If you hear your mind scheming, mm -hmm. what is the one thing you want to know about the other woman? Mm. Tell How's me. She look? You're concerned about looks. <laughs> My God. Ladies, you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're messing it. Mm -hmm. It's all about you treat them like a king. My God. Come on. It's all about respect. Come on. See the Yes. 
the woman used to protect and nurture. She used to be uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, because so many fathers are absent, mm. mother doesn't get paid. My Lord. Now, the woman got to come out of alignment hey. and go work like a man. Hey. And now, she's, she's built out from her law because she's taking on man law. Being My built Lord. with big muscles. Come on. Being built with broad, with broad shoulders. My God. That's why we frustrate it. Mm. That's why we emotional. Mm. And guess what? Everything comes the week before our cycle. My God. <laughs> hey. The devil got our cycle time. My God. Hey. Fellas, if you didn't know, get a calendar. Mm. Mark your woman's cycle. Mm. I pray she on regular. She ain't regular going to fast. She be healing. Mm. Okay? <laughs> Mark on your calendar. The week before, she can have PMS. Mm. That is the perfect time to get her flowers. That's My the God. perfect time. Listen to me. Chocolate. 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 Hey. Hey. right. You are to practice what you preach. That's right. Ephesians 6 and 1 says, children, mm-hmm. obey your parents in the Lord, for this yes, is right. Honor right. right. your father and mother, which is the first commandment with, with promise. That's right. Yes. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. And fathers, mm. do not provoke your children at all. Come on now. But bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Of the Lord. That's right. See, kids. Don't mm. Y'all think mm-hmm. that y'all can't have your own way. Come on, Pastor. You're being promoted to right. Oh, Jesus. And Say it again, Pastor. Truth be told, so much just disgusting mm. and rude. Mm. There we go. There we go. Mm. <laughs> we need beaten. We need abusing. We need to be grounded. So we gotta get taken away. So we gotta take mm-hmm. away. Okay. Some kids would rather be beaten than you taken away when they love. My God. But guess what? You don't understand. Your happiness lies within you. you know. That's right. See, when I want something from my parents, I speak them up. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I have the mindset and the ability to do it. We don't need to fool. That's why we need beaten. Because we know better. We just run down here some stinking, <laughs> disgusting and rude. My God. Preach. Mm. All I see is teeth in the back. Right? Preach. <laughs> You don't know. Yeah. 
I can guarantee you kids, Ooh. treat your parents better on a regular basis. That's right. Because guess what? God himself tell you. That's a combined with a promise. And a promise, God, that's God. right. Even if there was some financial difficulty, guess what? God will open the doors. Yes. yes. So when you want to go over, you know, or you want to go to the zip line or something, or the ATV, guess what the money comes? Guess what now? You could go. That's right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But if you constantly have your parents, oh God, don't let it be a single parent. Mm. If you constantly have them stress out, the last thing they're doing is seeking God. That's right. That's right. Because all they're trying to do is survive. All they're trying to do is make it and provide a roof over your head and food in your belly. My Lord. Some kids don't know what it is to have good parents. Hmm. That's right. There are parents that pimp and prostitute their children here. Oh my God. You don't know what it is for your body to pay the rent. Mm. My God. You don't want to ever have to know that. My God. You don't want to know what it feels like for your body to pay for the food that you eat. Mighty God. Mm -mm. And you will see people that you don't understand why they're so angry. Mm. Why you're so damaged for what happened to them from day one? You. My Lord. People walking around damaged. And you don't understand. Because you have no understanding. My Lord. No discernment. Yes. No heart to help. My Lord. Stop being selfish. Mm. Let's be our brothers and sisters, people. Amen. Yes. If you know what the pedophiles are, rebuke and expose them. Mm. So covering up for them. Hmm. Proverbs 19 and 18 says, Discipline your children, for in that there is hope. Hmm. Do not be a willing party to their death. My Lord. My God. Your lack of wow. discipline. You can imagine from a child, they can just do what they want to do. My God. No fear of God, no fear of man, no fear of the Lord, nothing. You have Satan raising you. Mm. You know the terror you're going to be when you grow up. Mighty mm. God. Look at all the serial killers. Mm. Who was a molester was an orphan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You was raised like an animal. Mm. That's why you act the way you act. That's right. The, when you were supposed to be protected as a child. Mm. You were dismantled and destroyed. You had no choice but to be destroyed. Oh, Jesus. My God. Come on. No one loves discipline when it's happening. Mm -hmm. But it will save their life. That's right. It will save their life. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? As a father, you ought to protect physically and, and spiritually. That's right. Physically. I say go to the school and have the food like a child. You got to exercise wisdom. Mm -hmm. Because your child is a reflection of you. Mm. Think about what you did to your parents in your youth. Come on. And then multiply by 10. Oh, That's right, the generation. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. But in today's society, unfortunately, the man has to be spread over several households. Hey, that's right there. You got kids here, there. So it's harder to cover them and provide for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, God is able, you know. Yes. But then it comes when you become a man after God's own heart. Yes. Because there are some situations where, you know what? You might not be in the best living conditions. But God could open up a door where you could get your child from a hostile situation. That's right. An unsafe environment. Children, how many of you actually say, to your parents, I love you. How many of you actually say, thank you? Mm. My Lord. We tend to be ungrateful. Sometimes we're so excited for stuff we might forget. But a good parent might not show their sacrifice. What they had to do to put that smile on your face. You mm. should be more grateful yes. and more appreciative. Amen. Amen. 
protecting them physically. Find a way to get your children together. Hmm. Find a way. If you don't see no way, check God. Hmm. Check God. Protecting them spiritually. No one can pray for your children like you do. That's right. You gotta be in alignment. That's right. You are your children's covering. That's right. Don't expect nobody else to pray. In your imperfect state, you carry power. Yes. Gonna something that God put inside you when He made you. It only gotta be activated. It only gotta be stirred up. It only gotta be drawn from low. Amen? Amen. Numbers 14 and 18 says, The Lord is slow in anger, abounding in love, and forgiving sin and rebellion. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the, the children for the sins of the parents to the third and fourth generation. Mm. So sometimes your secret sins which you have managed to hide from man can manifest in your children. That's right. And you looking at the the first thing we're going to do, back out of the church or send them to church. You want somebody else to deal with it all the time. It's a demonic attachment from what you into. You want to protect your children? Break the curses off your life. Break the generational curses from your bloodline. Understand that demons have a right to operate anywhere a curse is in effect. Hmm. And demons only know to do what? Three things. Kill, steal, and destroy. Steal, kill, and destroy. That's their nature. They are unrepentant. So until you deal with them, they can deal with you. Amen? Amen. Deuteronomy 28 and 45 says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon you and pursue you and overtake you. So if you even think for a moment, Oh, I'm going to another country for a better life. Them demons pack in their bags too. <laughs> okay then. Hello. <laughs> Amen. No, but it's a serious thing. Yeah. Curses follow you. Yes, right. And the close you get to your breakthrough. So they come the anticipation. Yeah, boy, I get I guess straight. I got my visa. I get oh get my place. I got my money flowing out there, boom. Tragic accident. Mm. You was too close to your breakthrough. My goodness. You did not get rid of the demonic attachment. And ain't nothing hurt more than when you're so close. Hmm. Or you just achieve your success. You just graduated. You're the first one in the family to graduate Jesus. from college. And then boom, you're gone. My God. Demons know how to hurt you, know. They do. You ought to teach your children. Lean by example. Teach them how to pray. If they can learn everything about phone and tablet, they can learn Psalm 23. That's right. They can learn our Father. Yes. They can learn Psalm 91. Yes. That's right. They know all the secular songs, all the secular dances. Mm -hmm. You ain't even mm -hmm. got to teach them nothing. Okay. Their minds are receptive. That's right. Make sure they can receive the word. That's right. That's, That's the there. foundation you need to build. Build that foundation. Hmm. Because you don't want to leave them behind on this earth. Hmm. And they got a faulty foundation. My God. They will crumble. Yes. Amen? Amen. Ask them about their dreams. Oh, ask them about their dreams. No matter how young they are. If they could talk, they dreaming, they could tell you what's going on. <laughs> That's for sure. Sometimes as adults, we're too busy to listen. Come on. Hmm. Sometimes our dreams might have been stolen and guess what the child will remember. Mm -hmm. God is speaking to your children because these are the last days. Amen. And he's pouring out his spirit on all flesh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Listen to them. Don't think, oh, that's my, oh, what you talking about? What, mm. what demon in the, in the, in the, in the yard? Mm. What's going on in your house? Mm. Y'all ain't speaking. You on the couch, you on the bed. <laughs> Be with the demon. Mm. 
Maybe we're too proud to listen. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Fathers, teach your children to be men. Mm. My God. Say it again. Hey! Mm. Teach them to be men. Preach. Think about it. And it wasn't until someone aggravated me. I was like, wait, your mommy raised you, wait. What you mean by that? I said, but you're a like woman. <laughs> then they catch offense, but they really were raised by, listen, they were raised by women. Hmm. Do not be absentee fathers. They need a male figure. Whether it be a big brother, big uncle, cousin, something, they need to know it's not you to put on high heels. Amen. If they grow up seeing mommy wearing makeup, what they want to do? Oh, they want to put on makeup. That's right. They want to dress up on high heels. You know, no, 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 big brother. Men don't do that. Amen. And with the elemental piece stuff, they are trying to indoctrinate the children from their young to make them think it's okay. That is not what God ordained. That is a mockery of God's creation. And you are a single mother. You think because your boy pretty because he cute. Oh, look at him. You put them on TikTok. You, you teaching them to be effeminate. And you wonder why they're Hey. Hey. And then the absentee hey. fathers are embarrassed, but where were you? Okay. Not paying attention to children them. by nature mock what they see and hear. And if they right. grow up in a bunch of house of women, you can't out twirl the neck. You get you can't out loud them. They got to have the last say because what? That's what women do. That's right. Your absence as a male figure impacts the male seed That's right. tremendously. Amen. If you have a scorned baby mother, hmm. you got to put that before God. That's right. You need to have access to your child to teach them how to live. Fathers, show your daughters what love is. Yes. Yes. That's right there. Show them what love is. Love is not being punched in the face. Mm -mm. It's not being trampled on the foot. Amen. It's not being run over by a car mm -hmm. and then going back to the person who did it. My Lord. You know how much young ladies endure that? Mm. Grew up in a single parent home. No father figure. My Lord. You got to teach them to be strong and independent, but not too strong. You don't want to be, oh, I don't need no man for nothing. Because when you do that, you turn into a Jezebel. Mm -hmm. And in case you don't know, Jezebel had a problem with the man of God. Mm -hmm. That's her eternal gripe. Like, she's not going to get over it. She's unrepentant. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can't make your ladies too strong. My Lord. Because they will not submit Amen. to the man after God's own heart. See, Jezebel don't show up until you don't lock in. <laughs> you don't got the baby. You don't got the ring. Jezebel will show up later. And now you feel like you're stuck because the lady on the job make you feel like a man. Hmm. But that's what I was saying earlier. Men know what they love. And what I've discovered is when you see a man take too long to marry you, 
He's holding on because you're not quite right. You might have two out of five qualities that he would want for a wife. My Lord. Maybe. And you're thinking it's all good. And, and, and see, and this is why unattractive women take your man. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all it's not about looks. Hey. I can tell you from experience, it's not about Glory. looks. It's all about how you make the man feel like a king. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know so we ask what she look like. Mm. Then you will know who she is. Mm -hmm. No, it's all about our brains and why it's different. Mm -hmm. hmm. My God. Men know what they want. And when they find all five in one, oh, I don't care if it's six months they're married. Two months. Two months. Go on. Then. <laughs> they know. They know. Because they know from their babes. Mm -hmm. And everybody's different. But you won't know until you make the time to appreciate him. Amen? Amen. So, parents, love upon your children. Be their confidant. Be the one that they run to when they have a problem. You don't ever want your child to go outside of your household when they have a problem. Because right, right, right. they're susceptible to whatever right, right. demon right. out there. Right. So if they have a problem with mommy, I ain't going to go to my daddy. But make sure a confidant is always in your household. Amen. Children want to feel comfortable in knowing that they can come to you with anything and they don't hear about it again. Mm -hmm. Some things you have to bring up because it might be like a pregnancy or, you know, something, yeah. Some, yeah. yeah. some things you gotta go to the police station for. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> if you get your crazy cousins, you might have another homicide. Good. My Lord. Yeah, you gotta put God before you. Yeah. But yes, people are going. Be a child's confidant. Don't they, they don't need to hear about what they told you in confidence in the, in the group chat, the family group chat, <laughs> or a testimony in church. Mm -hmm. You know, some things are just they came to you for a reason. They want to testify. They were talking. My Lord. You know, so we gotta be you know have mutual respect. For one another. Amen? Amen. Fathers, provide. Yes, your children need money. They need food, they need clothing. Now, if you are plagued with one of those crazy baby mothers I mentioned earlier, you might have to just pay the bills directly. You might not want to give them the cash. You know what I mean? If you have a court order, you have a court order. You gotta you gotta do with that. But you gotta exercise wisdom. That's right. Keep your receipts. Keep screenshots, text messages, something. Because women love these emotional bad, bad, bad. You know? I want to be spiteful one day, you know? Yeah. yeah. Month, Just how we feel nine, in a second. moment. Because the man get locked up for nothing. You got to put you on judge to you to shame him. Hey. <laughs> but if you are a father that's unemployed, that's not a bad thing. Because what you need to do is hearken unto God now. Go before the Father. Pray. Pray for guidance. Fast. Spend time with God. Turn off the phone. Put it on silent. Check your messages later. Stay. God is out for you. Yeah. I need a breakthrough. Yeah. That's right. You give me these children. And I'm sure Satan gave me one of those baby mothers. But Lord, I trust you. Yeah. Put them on the I trust you, Lord. Oh, <laughs> but I need a breakthrough. I am setting aside this time for you because 
I want you prove to me that you are God. All things work together. I need you to open this door that no man can shut. Yeah. I got to provide for my children. See, some of y'all don't need to be working for no man. That's probably why you're frustrated because you're going from job to job to job. Look at you get turned down, but God bless your hands. Maybe you can bake. Maybe you can fix a car. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can cook. Mm -hmm. Do them all. So put it before God right. and exercise wisdom yes. when you are providing financially. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to just divert a bit into Psalm 112. Psalm 112, starting at verse 1, it says, Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Someone say, Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. With bullshit. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. That's better. <laughs> Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. Know that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's right. Who delights greatly in his commandments. Right? Mm -hmm. His descendants will be mighty on earth. Mm -hmm. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his house. Mm. And his righteousness endures forever. You are called this God has to provide for you. That's yes. right. Yes. That's right. That's a promise of God. Amen. Claim your promise. Walk into alignment. Yes. Proverbs 3 and 1 says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Hmm. Verse 4 of one, Psalm 112. Unto the upright there arises light in darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. Light in darkness. Mm. As you spend time with God, yeah. His glory will cover you. Mm -hmm. His presence, His protection will cover you. Mm. Verse 5. A good man deals graciously and lands. Now, I say that your money to anybody who asks it. Because mm. wow. bad people don't like pay your money. Wow. Wow. You need money for your children. You got some swines over there. Mm. Be very careful. But all God is saying, look here. When you honor me, I can bless you. That's my word. You are the lender and not the borrower. That's right. Exercise wisdom. And if you ever are led to lend someone money, be sure you don't mind not getting it back. <laughs> That's for sure. It's a bonus if they pay it back. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Mm -hmm. Always seek the Lord. That's what David did. First Samuel 30 and 8. David inquired of the Lord saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Lord, what you think about that gal over there? Mm. Holy Spirit say no. <laughs> Satan, I rebuke you. No, no, seriously, Lord, what you think? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. No. That's real. That's them. It always started like that, you know. Yep. And when you yield, they turn quick. My Lord. Baby mother number three. <laughs> Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. Lord, you think I should buy this car? Lord, you think I should apply for the job? Hmm. Always seek the Lord. And if something just don't sit right in your spirit, leave it alone. That's right. That little That's trick right. can save you plenty of money. That's right. And heartache. Amen. Trust me. You should be praying Psalm 25 and 4. Show me the right path, O oh Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me. For you are the God who saves me. Hmm. Psalm 37 23 says, The steps of a good man are what? What about the Lord? That's right. And he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. 
Amen? Amen. Amen. Psalm 112 and 6. Surely he will never be shaken. The righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. He will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He will not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. Get a word of the Lord. Psalms 3 and 21. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you. An ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety. And your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster. Or of the rumor that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side. And will keep your foot from being snared. That's right. Amen. Amen. Verse 9. He has dispersed the broad. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be exalted with honor. The wicked will see it and be grieved. He will gnash his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. My Lord. So even, see God ain't gonna kill all your enemies. Mm. Some gotta see that they obey and couldn't work. Mm. Some have gotta see that. God will set up a table before you. In the presence. In the presence of the enemy. That's right. Some of them you probably even got a minister too. Hmm. May God turn some things around. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. You want me and my own heart? Stay away from fools hmm. and trapsy with it. Mighty God. Proverbs 14 and 7 tells you stay away from fools. Hmm. For you won't find knowledge on their lips. lips. Ecclesiastes 7 and 26 says, I discovered that a seductive woman is a trap, mm -hmm. more bitter than death. Mm. Her passion is a snare, and her soft hands are cheese. Mm. Those who are pleasing to God My Lord. will escape her. My God. But sinners will be caught in her snare. Don't mind these delighted spirits around here. My God, come on. Don't mind these damsel in distress from you. My God. Listen, let's just say you sought the Lord, right? And you was unemployed. God bless you with a job. Let's just say you get a, a job and you got to get off it. See, your co-workers always look at the fresh meat. They always size you up. I don't let you be up. Uh, Strap and hunt some young man. Mm. All eyes, even the fellas watching you. Watch your back. That's right. Everybody wants you. That's right. They gonna watch you, observe you, mm -hmm. check out your Facebook. Mm -hmm. Is your Facebook public or private? Mm. They won't watch you. They gonna go to about, click on about, see your likes and dislikes. Mm. You watched the Celtics game last night? Me too! <laughs> <laughs> now she got your interest. Mm -hmm. Now she's trying to get you alone. So what's she gonna do? She's a damsel in distress. <sighs> what happened? <sighs> I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask one more time, yeah. you're mad, yeah. Samson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the baby <body> just. Because <laughs> 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 he was a good man. My Lord. You got good art. That's right. 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 Mm -hmm. He leave me again. Mm -hmm. I have no right to get home. Call the cab. Come on, you're getting off two o'clock in the morning now. Oh, All the other co-workers walking off, leaving. Oh, you're you stuck but. there now. Now you're saying, X-Rise, oh, Lord, I can't get the woman out here. What if something happened to her? 
Catch you over. Exercise wisdom. That's right. Wake up your wife. Okay. Honey, I off, but my co worker, Nicole, she ain't alright. Mm. <laughs> okay. Listen. Think about it now. Ain't no man will leave a woman. Think about it. Right. A real man ain't going to leave the yeah. woman at 2 o'clock mm -hmm. in the right. morning at the right. restaurant, nothing like that. You're right, you're right. All right? Mm -hmm. She got to see. You respect your wife. Okay. Right. She's trying you. Okay. You ain't whip if you got to call your wife. Mm -hmm. You ain't whip if you got to ask your spouse if it's okay to work overtime. Mm -hmm. It is called respect. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. And it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah. The fellas might think, oh, now you're just soft. You don't want to tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. How many baby mothers do you have? Hmm. Fifteen. <laughs> Always look at the lives of the naysayers. Mm -hmm. So now, she gets you. Mm -hmm. You're in the car alone. Mm -hmm. You have the sense to call the wife and tell her, Nicole need a ride. They're going right back to town. <laughs> That's it. So what we should do? Where we can get the scenario? You stand on the phone? Oh yes. You stand on the phone? Oh, you better believe it. You ever see the night? Y'all put night prayer now. Nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you playing the gun over the car? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You listen. Hey, you can listen to you snore. Mm -hmm. She ain't got people worried no more. She be like. I can't mess with this one. Okay. See, it only got to start like that. It only got to start in the set. Mm -hmm. Then, the co-workers who are going to give her a ride, all of a sudden now, uh, oh, every night she going home with him. Yeah. And it could be innocent, you know. Yeah. It ain't what it is. It how it looks. That's right. Now the talks. Okay. Now you going through problems in your job. Child, you ain't here. You don't plan that scene yet. So now every time you look, the devil don't whisper in here, look at him, look at him. Every time he answers phone, he going over there. Every time he pick up his phone, he going over there. Why you got to talk secret? You have the TV and volume up to 60. You know the man's supposed to hear. Hmm. <laughs> Mighty God. But man, it don't look good. When you can't have a conversation in front of your spouse. It don't look good when you have anybody in your life you need to delete a message from in your phone. Mm -hmm. Why you have people like that in your life? See, things like this is ammunition to the devil. And he busting off shots at marriage. Hmm. Got that right. Blood eye. <laughs> That's all he's doing. He's looking off shots. But guess what? We are giving him ammunition. Hmm. You must be transparent. These messages you get in your DM when it ain't of God, block it. Mm -hmm. Be careful of the damsel in distress. My thing is, everybody got a sad story. Yeah. My thing is, you know what, sis, you always seem to be going through something. Why don't you come to the foundation of the word ministry? <laughs> if they want to change their life, they can be right here with your wife. Now you know they're full of seers, right? So, okay. if the intent is not of God, mm. hey, mm. see right through it. My Lord. Y'all gotta learn how to shut things down. Brother. That's right. Don't let nothing manifest. It is your peace that you want to you know. You know how much men gotta go somewhere else for peace before mm. they come home? My God. To be a bar. Could be another woman's house. Hmm. You could just be on the beach. <laughs> you want to be his peace. Oh, Lord. And not his headache. 
side one piece of and not the side piece. And not the side piece, eh? That's right. <laughs> not the side piece. But let us work on loving up on each other. It's not all on the men, it's not all on the women, it's on everyone. Yes. The husband, the wife, the children. Let us all do our part to respect and show love for one another. Proverbs 21 and 9 says, Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. Yeah, we, we do bad sometimes things. And it might come like, they don't ever get nothing. They always doing it. They always, they always do it. I, 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 I. Sometimes you got to be still and know that he is God. Just for a moment, calm down and analyze the situation. But like, God, what this is? This ain't what you promised me. I, I need to be happy. This is not going to work. What's going on? You might even have a dream after that. God might show you the enemy. I remember one time I was going through trouble and we was going through trouble in the house and my husband had a dream about these snakes and all kind of crawling creatures coming out the wall. And when he woke up and he went outside, someone did have a bite. I don't know if it was a placenta or a body part. It was something that was fleshy and bloody in the same spot. They took it and they shoved it down in the hole in the wall because we was building them. So God could show you that was fellow witchcraft. Mm. And guess what God do? He showed a man. He didn't show me. He showed a man. Amen? Amen. Forgive. Ladies, we tend to hold on to things. And most men, they can resolve an issue with another man by either fighting it out or having a drink. <laughs> Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. Something so simple. Mm -hmm. Just let things go. Now you have a few who will hold on and have unforgiveness in their heart. But they more than likely were raised in a female dominant household. Mm -hmm. And they don't even understand why they act the way they act. You see nothing wrong with it. My mother was a good mother. Yeah, but you, bro, you throw your neck too much. You, men don't do that. Men don't do that. And you try not to be disrespectful, but it's not their fault. Yeah. The absent fathers are. Forgive. Love covers a multitude of sin. Of sin. First Peter says, First Peter 3 and 7 says, Husbands, Likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel and as being heirs of the grace of life that your prayers may not be hindered. If you and the wife are odds, you all need to forgive. You can't. Your prayers, your speaking in tongues ain't going nowhere unless you make things right with God and each other. Learn how to pray and seek forgiveness from one another. Sometimes when we're angry, we say things we don't mean. And we blurt out some spoken word curses in our anger. Hmm. Right? Yep. Then later on we forgive and we make up. But did you cancel those word curses? Or are they still in the atmosphere that we you later? Sometimes you might have disciplined your child. And your child will like, eat him, but ooh, I want my real daddy. I wish he fought on a break. I, I, I. Children do that. Mm -hmm. When the enemy seeps into their spirit, into their hearing, and they wish, and they wish. Sometimes you need to forgive your children, and your children need to forgive you. Because they will hold on to that. And all the devil know all he needs is a seed of bitterness in the wood. And that will stay right there and that will grow into rebellion. Not only rebellion unto you, but rebellion unto God. Hmm. So sometimes you got to look at your child and tell them you love them. And say, bro, sis, if I've done anything to offend you, to hurt you, give me. Mm -hmm. 
Some people might feel, I'm growing, you're the child. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Do what God would do. That's right. Do right by God. Ephesians 4 and 29 says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful, helpful for building up others according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Get rid of all bitterness, rage, anger, brawling, and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ forgave you. Amen? Amen. I want to pray for those of you who have lost a father. Even if they are an absent father, they just ain't in your life. Some of you might have lost them through death. Some of you are holding on to some things. You need to let go. It is a stumbling block to your growth in Christ. It is a stumbling block to your relationship with God. A lot of you are acting out and you don't understand. It is because of the demonic oppression from your life. Some of us have God in our hearts. Some of us have a problem with God because we blame God mm. for allowing some things to happen, not realizing it was the plot of the enemy. My God. Mm -mm -mm. You have a seed of bitterness that needs to be uprooted. Yes. Is there anyone that needs prayer? Come forward. I implore you to leave it here at the altar. altar today. That's right. Give God something to work with. Mm. Some of us don't have our fathers in our lives and you have a gap. You need God to fill. And only God can do it. Only God can do it. Hallelujah. Father, come before you today. Bring your child before you. Father God, she's leaving. Everything that's not of you I dissolve to today. Father God, only you know how she feels. Father God, you said in your word to cast your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. So Father God, she's casting her cares here at the altar today. Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus upon her mind, her body, soul, and spirit. I speak peace be still to your mind. Peace be still to every demonic storm in your life. Peace be still to every running and straying. I renounce every discouragement. Every burden that's not of God off of you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, you are a comforter. You are a counselor. You are a mighty God. We thank you for the, your peace that surpasses all understanding. But Father God, I just pray that you will fill every void with the blood of Jesus. Your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood, your blood. Your blood. Let your blood come on. Let your glory overshadow her in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Father God, all her steps in your word. <coughs> Surround her day and night. 
I renounce right mind battles. In the name of Jesus, I renounce doubt. I renounce worry in the name of Jesus. I buy and rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Your heart. Your heart. Release. 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 Jesus. Release. Now you are restoring mighty God. <coughs> you are at peace. And she lies down to sleep. She will sleep in peace. For you are with her. You are with her until the end. So Father God, we just thank you. We seal her in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Let's give God a highest praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hall Glory to God. Powerful word today. I pray that God continue to bless the men that stand up for their family and take care of their children and as God will love them to do. We always ask if there's any testimony. Hallelujah. 